Welcome to Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi TV. Today is the memorial of Saint Peter Chrysologus. Peter was a bishop and doctor of the church. He was born at Imola in Italy in the year 406. Peter was baptized, educated and ordained a deacon by Cornelius, Bishop of Imola. He merited being called Chrysologus, which means golden worded, from his exceptional oratorical eloquence. He was an orator. In the year 433, Pope Sixtus III consecrated him Bishop of Ravenna. He practiced many corporal and spiritual works of mercy and ruled his flock with utmost diligence and care. He extirpated paganism and other abuses that had sprouted among his people, cautioning them especially against indecent dancing. At that time there were abuses and vestiges of paganism evident in his diocese and this he was determined to battle and overcome. His principal weapon was the short sermon and many of them have come down to us. They do not contain great originality of thought. They are, however, full of moral applications. They are sound in doctrine and historically significant in that they reveal Christian life in the 5th century Ravenna, Italy. So authentic were the contents of his sermons that some 13 centuries later, he was declared a doctor of the church by Pope Benedict the Thirteenth, He who had earnestly sought to teach and motivate his own flock was recognized as a teacher of the Universal Church. Also, he was able to counsel the heretic Eutis, who had asked for his support to avoid causing division but to learn from the other heretics who were crushed when they hold themselves against the rock of Peter. He died at Imola, Italy in the year 450. And in 1729, he was made a doctor of the church, largely as a result of his simple, practical and clear sermons, which have come down to us, nearly all dealing with gospel subjects. In addition to his zeal in the exercise of his office, Peter Chrysologus was distinguished by the loyalty he had to the church, not only in its teaching, but in its authority as well. He looked upon learning not as a mere opportunity, but as an obligation for all, both as a development of God-given faculties and as a solid support for the worship of God. Sometime before his death, St. Peter returned to Imola, his birthplace, where he died around 450 AD. What can we learn from Peter Chrysologus? Our reflection continues after the break. Take my life and Welcome back. A man who vigorously pursues a goal 
may produce results far beyond his expectations and his intentions. Thus it was with Peter of the Golden Words, as he was called, who as a young man became Bishop of Ravenna, the capital of the empire in the West. Quite likely it was St. Peter's attitude toward learning that gave substance to his exhortations. Next to virtue, learning in his view was the greatest improver of the human mind and the support of true religion. Ignorance is not a virtue, nor is anti-intellectualism. Knowledge is neither more nor less a source of pride than physical, administrative or financial prowess. To be fully human is to expand our knowledge, whether sacred or secular, according to our talents and opportunity. And so, what are you doing today to improve your knowledge? Knowledge is power. May God, who is the source of true wisdom and knowledge, fill us with these gifts and bless our little efforts to develop mentally. And such growth should draw us closer to Him. Let us pray. God, you made St. Peter Chrysologus an outstanding preacher of your incarnate word. Through his intercession, grant that we may contemplate the mystery of your salvation in our hearts and faithfully bear witness to it by our deeds. Amen. Thanks for staying with us. It's been Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi TV.